Yeah, it's pretty hype right now. For the kids, as a TK. Hey, welcome back. Wade Hampton High School in Greenville, of course, and you got to have a student council. We have yes, a student sir. council president. Are you really Annabelle Williams? I am. You are? Yes, sir. <laughs> Better known as a unicorn today. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, tell us about the fundraising uh, part of this. I mean, what, what charity and how much? So our charity is the Family Effect, and our goal to raise money for them is $302,000 and then mm. $20.24 that we added to the end to make our graduation year. Oh, for I like that. Yeah. Um, and so the Family mm. Effect is really close to our hearts because they came and spoke to us, and they told us all about how at the charity, the moms who are recovering from substance use issues are able mm -hmm. to stay with their children while they recover and obviously for them to have their children to be able to hold their babies and see that's them big. is a huge motivator for them. Well, I love it that it touched y'all's hearts. That's awesome. You yeah, change charities every year. And yes, sir. Okay, what did you do last year? Um, so last year, charity was the Center for Developmental Services. Okay, so how much did you raise last year? Last year, we raised $281,000. So more this year? Hope so. More than well. How do you decide your goals? Because $304,000 and then $20.24, <laughs> I mean, that's a lot goal that's a lot of money so this year the charity gave us a lot of different needs that they have at their facility and so 197,000 of our dollars um, are going to finish a transition home that they have there at that facility in Serenity Village for the moms to stay in with each other and have a community there and then a hundred thousand dollars are going to a nature trail that they're working on around um, their facility and then currently they don't have a working functioning kitchen there and so they're having oh, to wow. bring mm -hmm. meals from off-site into their facility for the moms and so five thousand dollars are also going to a kitchen yeah, finishing That's that right. kitchen. Mm -hmm. Well, nope. how, how do you pick the charity? Does just council choose, the student body choose? So we have an application process that starts, it'll start in April this year okay. for the next charity for the following right. year. And so we go through um, almost <laughs> 40 applications and go through all of them. Student council looks through them. Each person mm -hmm. chooses um, a charity and makes a presentation about them, talks about them, wow. and then we narrow it down and narrow it down. And it's obviously okay. extremely difficult because okay. all of those charities a good are amazing. Yes, and how do you come up with all the activities for the week? Because y'all have been going strong from last Friday and so up until yes. halftime tonight. Um, so we have a calendar that's pretty much stays the same throughout the years, but every year we're adding new activities, we're changing things up, we're making new things, just based on what the student body wants, the feedback we're getting from the previous years, and just things that we think are fun to do, and we'll raise lots of money. What's been the most fun? <sighs> Oh, I like. The yeah, yeah. What do y'all think? Y'all like y'all like the dressing up? Like the is it? Yeah, we love to dress up. Yeah. We love yes. to get the student body involved by doing dress up days every day, and so that's been super fun for us. And then there's mm -hmm. fun things like you know putting people in jail at lunch, and you got to pay a certain fine to come out. Just super creative. If people are watching, is there like a last minute push? Maybe someone can't actually be at the game tonight, but they're like, I want to donate. Yes, we have a donation link that's on our school website, and so you can donate through that, and you just put all that money into there and it will go straight to the charity and it'll be on our final check on the field at home. But now That's that you're awesome. on big time TV, if someone just kind of curled around the drive and gave you a hundred bucks, you'd take it, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, if they're watching, come yeah. on by. And that's <laughs> happened. We've been here before. People are holding out checks yeah. for like 500 uh, bucks. Out, so. we take the money. We'll take it. Yes, well, you've done a great job. Good luck tonight. Again, the big tech reveal will be at halftime when Wade Hampton takes on Riverside at 730 right here at Wade Hampton. So we can't wait to see it.